Hi everyone, thanks for joining us for our tip of the week. My name is Aaron McElhenney. I'm the Acquisitions Coordinator here at Property Management Inc. where we make property management manageable. So today we're going to talk about how to buy a property management company. More specifically, we're going to go through three purchase options uh, to make that deal happen. So uh, if you're new to property management or an existing property manager, you really need to know that this is the fastest way to grow your business. Uh, I imagine going through this process, you have a lot of questions, so hopefully this can uh, answer some of those and uh, give you a little bit more insight uh, into the structure. So first we're going to talk about a cash deal. And a cash deal, typically uh, you can get a lower price because there's more risk. You're putting more cash up front um, for those contracts or for that business, and uh, there's typically a little bit more risk involved there. Um, with that option, it's kind of nice if you can still include some type of payment structure where you have uh, an initial down payment and perhaps a payment down the road at three to six months uh, where you could calculate and, and have a discount in there. Uh, if any doors leave, uh, you can have a discount on the balance due. So hopefully you can include that in that cash deal. Okay, the second option here is a finance deal. And there's a couple different uh, ways to do this. You can go an SBA type route or you could do even some seller financing. Um, the option there is great because uh, typically it's a lower out-of-pocket expense for a finance deal and you can pay over time. Um, also from the seller's end, they can oftentimes make more money from that deal if they do uh, include some seller financing there. Um, a seller financing option it really is great and most of the deals that uh, I would say we're working on right now do have some type of seller financing involved. So the third one here is a profit share. and This one's really our, our favorite structure if we can include it. Um, the great thing is, is a buyer and seller can both still benefit from this company over time and if that company increases uh, and they get more doors under management, uh, the, seller can, the seller and buyer can both make more money together. Um, so let's say the seller uh, wants to sell off their management company but they're still in the real estate game and they've still got clients and they know they're going to have a lot of referrals coming in. They can really take not, not a partnership in this business but just a share of the profit where um, any new doors or any new leads that they're bringing into this um, can really, they can still earn on those doors and for a designated, designated amount of time can still profit from that business. So it's, uh, it's ideal for both ends if there's a lot of growth and uh, everyone can make a lot more money together. So it's a great option if you can include that. Those are our three purchase structures that we typically work through here at PMI. Uh, if you'd like to learn more, uh, please uh, visit us at doubleyourdoors.com uh, and make sure you register for what every property manager must know to double their doors under management. Great, thank you so much.